where I've been taking lessons for three months. <laughs> I put gold eyeshadow on my lipstick to make it seem like glittery. Um, and I don't know if it worked. Three years ago today, a little 14 year old me sat down in front of my color organized bookshelf uh, and made a video telling the internet how to be a fangirl. Uh, I had no idea how the next 36 months of my life would play out, but I was just excited to finally be creating content and using YouTube and the internet as a platform to try and widen my immediate world. Uh, at the time, I think I was lonely, but I also think that I was probably chasing that, that ache that creators get, the one that sits like just behind your rib cage and a little bit to the left. You know, the one that we get when we create something that interacts with people other than ourselves in our immediate circle. These last three years have just been insane. I look at them and then I look at myself and I go, I just don't understand how <laughs> I'm actually still sitting here. It's been, it's been a lot. Um, it's been great. There have been incredible successes. I've uh, got a diploma in graphic design now. I have a full-time job now. I uh, have a car and I know how to drive it and I do drive it to places and to see people and to do things. I've also had some pretty crazy lows. Uh, for the first time in my life I've had to learn how to deal with mild to severe anxiety uh, and how to navigate a life where I'm not fully in control of my brain or my emotions or my capabilities. Since I've started this channel I've also experienced a huge amount <laughs> of transition. Uh, my family and I moved out of my childhood home. I left high school to study graphic design. Uh, my little sister moved into state and my family had to readjust to being four instead of five all the time. I've had to grow up a lot and become a largely functioning adult, which is pretty crazy. I mean, did I mention that I have a job like with a cubicle and a, a tag on the outside of the cubicle and everything? I have a corporate email tag that has my name and then my title and then my phone extension in it. Like, <laughs> That's how proper office job this office job is, right? This time in my life has also seen a huge change to my dreams, to my aspirations. Uh, I found graphic design, which has led to a love of typography and layout and illustration and color and shape and everything beautiful, right? And then once I'd settled into graphic design, I was introduced to production design, which is basically just being an art director, but on a film set. So you just, you make films look and feel functionally beautiful, which is the dream now. <laughs> cool dude, I want to do that. <laughs> so now instead of daydreaming about a studio at Kangaroo Point, I'm googling cheap accommodation in Los Angeles and trying to find entry level jobs in art departments. But the main thing that's got me through the last three years has been conversation, uh, has been the quiet words of encouragement that gets muffled in my hair as my mother holds me uh, while I cry, <laughs> has been the deep and honest moments over coffee and cake when I can find a friend that I actually feel like the world is kind of ending. I've gotten to have conversations where I show someone a completely different side of living with mental illness. And then I've had other conversations where someone else shows me a completely different side of living with mental illness. And then I've had conversations which are barely conversations, but it's that thing where like you and your best mate are sitting there and a cute guy walks past and you kind of thwack her in the chest and you kind of just like... Right? Conversation and interaction are probably the most important thing that we as human beings can do, both for ourselves and for those around us. Um, we as a race are pretty dumb. <laughs> and if we isolate ourselves, we don't, we don't last very long. Conversation lets us relate to others and lets others relate to us. It gives us perspective and it shows us that there is more to life than this current predicament that we're in. I honestly believe that everyone has a unique contribution to the conversation and if you have the means to share that, then it's kind of your responsibility too. Um, and I guess it just so happens that filming videos in my bedroom is my opportunity to share my side of the conversation. So with all that being said, um, I'm Bella Rankin. This space and voice uh, is Bella and Books. And um, welcome back.